As a pastor in this community, I'm outraged. Community anger spilling over today after Sacramento police released videos showing the shooting death of Joseph Mann, whom family members describe as being mentally ill. At the time he was shot, he was not being aggressive. He was not being, uh, he was not threatening the officer. The videos depict a man wandering the streets, behaving erratically and holding a knife, as described yesterday by police chief Sam Summers. Uh, the officers reported that the subject is hostile, throwing things at the officers, and still has a knife in his hand. But supporters of Joseph Mann insist the police did not do enough to de-escalate the situation. Talking to him, possibly tasering him, possibly sandbagging him, there are any number of things that could have been done. Mann supporters want criminal charges filed against the officers involved in the shooting, and they are critical of the mayor for not putting more focus on the subject. In response, Kevin Johnson has set up a subcommittee of four council members to examine police training and protocols. Alan Warren is a member of that select panel. Uh, one of the key things that I'll be focusing on is uh, the use of cameras and, and, and a policy, a mandatory policy for any time that there's a shooting and particularly when there's a fatality, that we, we have to have a policy. Supporters of Joseph Mann complain today that police failed to keep them fully informed of their investigation of the shooting. So how do these families mourn? How do they move on when they can't get a police report? Amen. They can't get a dash cam released? Really? They can't get any information? But the police chief insists the department has been as transparent as possible during an ongoing investigation. Our particular shooting review process has more oversight than any of the other agencies in this particular uh, part of California.